This video is about Buckminster Fuller's idea that there is a link between love and gravity. Buckminster Fuller spent a large part of his life searching for the principles governing the universe in the belief this would help the advance of humanity. The idea was that an understanding of these universal principles of the universe would lead to people finding ways of doing more with less, so that all people everywhere can have more and more. This led to the development and construction of geodesic domes that are the most economical way to cover the largest amount of area, and in many ways copied nature with protein and viruses using the same geometry. Fuller's investigations of the universe led him from spherical packing to tetrahedron formed by lines which connect the four middle points of the spheres. This geometry is also very similar to the growth and division of cell life. He proposed that the tetrahedron was the most basic building shapes in nature, being one of the most stable geometric configurations. The jitterbug transformation provides a unifying dynamics to his work, with the potential to collapse inside out through different geometrical shapes, and then to re-expand or reform in a process that has rotational symmetry. We can see in his work the unity of an integral or universal process, and this is what must have led him to say that love is metaphysical gravity. It is easy to think that it would take a great leap of faith to link love and gravity together within one geometrical process. But if we look at these images from the International Space Station, we can see that a candle flame naturally form a sphere in zero gravity. Therefore we already have the spherical geometry formed by a universal dynamic process that can represent Buckminster Fuller's geometry. This spherical geometry can be represented mathematically with gravity and electromagnetism sharing the inverse square law representing the geometry of this universal process with gravity being a secondary force to electromagnetism. Every action creates a reaction and the inward force of gravity is the reaction of the outward momentum of photon energy as a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Photon energy slows the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. Mass will increase relative to this with the time dilation of Einstein's relativity being part of this universal process. At the most fundamental level this is a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Such a process will naturally form entropy or disorganization with the potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the diversity of life and in conscious awareness. Therefore Buckminster Fuller was right and we can think of love as metaphysical gravity. By explaining conscious awareness in its most simple form as electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential, this theory can explain consciousness as the most advanced part of one universal process. The prime example of this process is photon energy cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, and also greater degrees of freedom for the complexity and diversity of plant life. Each photon oscillation only occurs once, 
but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life, or in other words, it is forming what we see and feel as a passage or continuum of time. This fits in very well with Buckminster Fuller's geometrical idea that two lines cannot go through the same point at the same time, and he said this is why we have reflection and refraction. In this theory, the future is unfolding photon by photon with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. We have the spontaneous absorption and emission of light relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the future unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. This process forms a movement of positive and negative charge with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. This can also be explained as the quantum wave particle function or probability function collapsing and reforming with the probability of quantum mechanics forming the uncertainty of everyday life. In the work of Buckminster Fuller this is represented by the jitterbug transformation with the potential to collapse inside out through different geometrical shapes and then to reform in a process of rotational symmetry. This process of energy exchange could be called the dance of creation. This theory only makes logical sense if we have a universal process of energy exchange with each object or life form having its own reference frame with its own timeline from the past into the future. These reference frames are continuously coming in and out of existence. Conscious awareness as electrical activity that is aware of its own electrical potential is always in the moment of now in the center of its own reference frame. It is this personalization of the brain being in the moment of now in the center of its own frame of reference that gives us the concept of mind with each one of us having our own unique personal view of the universe and the uncertainty of life. The flow of time as a process of continuous energy exchange and our consciousness as a continuous stream of unbroken ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams and emotions of love are interlinked. Another similarity with the work of Buckminster Fuller and this theory is the dynamic nature of water. Buckminster Fuller believed that the tetrahedron is the most basic building block in nature being one of the most stable geometrical configurations. Water also has similar tetrahedron structure with two hydrogen atoms and two lone pairs of electrons around the central oxygen atom. In flowing water we have hydrogen bonds continuously breaking and reforming with a continuous exchange of photon energy relative to the structure and temperature of the environment. In this theory this represents the future unfolding photon by photon within the water. Just a change in environmental temperature can cause the atoms to bond together with the process forming degrees of freedom and uncertainty needed for infinite snowflake diversity. We have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere that in this theory represents an infinite number of timelines for potential future possibilities and opportunities. Within such a theory creation is in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.